Now in this video, we're going to go over this circuit here. So there's actually six of these on this integrated circuit, the 74HC05. We are tying the inputs high so that uh, those ones don't do anything. And what we have here is we actually have a high input right now and a low output. That's why the LED is off. We press the button, we give a low input, and we have a high output. The LED is on. So now, a main thing to note is that for this particular integrated circuit and some other ones, the output does not output a high signal. When the output is low, it's taken a pull-up resistor. Whatever current gets through there gets sucked directly to ground. So we have basically zero volts right there. When we need a high output, that means that it doesn't do anything. It lets the current that goes through the resistor there go through the load or whatever else the output is attached to. So now the integrated circuit here, I got rid of these extra jumpers right there going to the inputs. It has six of these, so hex of these inverters right there. They're open collector or open drain though. Since it's high speed CMOS, it's open drain. So there's a little star that indicates that. And uh, also on the schematic, I put OD. So I've seen a number of different ways for the open drain, open collector to be indicated. I really like the star. So you can see the star right there. Now, the inputs should be either held high or low. So I got these jumpers, the ones that you're not using. And uh, there's wasted energy and I don't know, may even be able to damage the integrated circuit. But uh, in any case, it's best to tie those high or low. We're going to use a 5 volt power supply right there. 5 volts works really good for uh, these or the uh, LS version. The high speed CMOS though, we can go down to 2 volts. I wouldn't do that though because I have a green LED, needs 5 volts. You want to make sure it's the same voltage powering everything. So now we'll give the input which is normally high until we press the switch which will bring it low. So we got the switch there. The other side of the switch there, these two are always connected and then these two bottom ones are always connected. When you press the switch, the top and the bottom then connect. So we want to hold it high. And so we could put this resistor directly to the input. In fact, this time I'm gonna do it that way. I, th I think it's a little easier to see what's going on. Or we could just put it right there because we're gonna take this red jumper here and connect that side of the switch to the input. So this red jumper covers that distance really good so that is the input right there and so it's holding a high input until we press the button in which we will get a low input now for the output so the output it just kind of reduces clutter if I move it to this next board over so we're going to uh, use this jumper right there and my aims kind of off because I'm looking through the camera not doing person so there we go we got it over there and the LED is going to go to ground, so one spot below there, we got ground. We need to pull up the voltage to get our high output. And so pull up resistor, that's going to the positive rail, one kilo ohm resistor. And I'm not sure the exact current limits of the uh, inputs, but uh, I don't think it's a ton for this particular integrated circuit. So we're just going to stick with one kilo ohm resistor so that we're not really dealing with more than about 5 milliamps of current at any given time. And the LED long lead is the anode that's going to the output. Short lead, the cathode, is going to ground right there. So whenever the LED is on, the output's not actually powering it. Current's just going through the resistor and then through the LED. So now that's it for the circuit. I'll turn the output on right there. And you see we got a lot of current because these other inputs are floating. But it will still work. The uh, same so there you can see that uh, right now we have a high input a low output we press the button we have a low input and a high output the LED is on so now I turn the power off and wherever there is an input I have a direct connection to the positive rail or we could go directly to the negative rail whichever one you want to do but in case I'll turn the output on right now and as you can see there's a little bit of current it's not the 15 milliamps anymore and that's just because current was going through the resistor uh, into the output going to ground right there so it's important to either hold those inputs high or low 
right there and I'm off a spot that's why we don't have that current going so in any case there's always current going through this resistor it's just either going to ground or else it is going through the load right there for a high output and then ground for a low output so now to wrap this up we have a not gate which has the property of if the input is high in this case 5 volts then the output is low 0 volts whereas if the input is low then the output is high and uh, so that's the not gate it's this basic not gate schematic symbol but we added a star and there's another symbol that's kind of like a, a square that's uh, tilted slightly and I believe a line under it that I've also seen to indicate the open collector or open drain so any case that's really it for this video and uh, check out one of these other videos that I'm posting click the subscribe button and the bell I will see you in the next video